Bowser's was taking um, objects from my hand early on, but uh, Bowser's was, uh, you know, just doing it sort of uh, because he wanted to, N not because it was a command. And whenever I see this, when a dog, I'm teaching them hold, and I bring them in and they start taking the object from my hand right away, that, that's never an indication that it's going to go easy with hold. So at a point, he just, I'd put the tennis ball or the stick in front of his face and he'd just turn his head, right? And there was a problem that he wouldn't let me touch his snout. Anytime I touched his snout, he would like go crazy. So we had to get him used to doing that. Not crazy, but he, he did not want me to, like, like, you need to be able to pill your dog, right? So you wouldn't be able to pill this guy because anytime you open his mouth, he would squirm away or, you know, just be horrible. So we had to get him used to doing that. And we have, and now we, when you, when you do this with your dog, all dogs, hold, all dogs will give you refusals teaching hold. And it really doesn't matter because the end result is that the dog needs to learn how to hold. So the refusal, that's just part of them learning the command hold. Good boy, drop. Good boy, that was good. So you have to be consistent and you have to make sure that they, they just start doing it. And when he first started holding this and he's still just holding it for a very short period. Hold. No, hold. Drop. Good boy. You just do it for one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, and then you start building on success. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. If you can get him to hold it for just one second, that's good boy. Real short period. Hold, hold, drop. That's it. Now notice what he was doing with his paw. That's what he was doing was whenever I try and we got him to the point where I could um, touch his snout. But then when I put the object in his snout, he'd take his paws and do that. So. Um, he still does it a little bit, but he's given up and that that's important because he's not going home until he does hold properly. Hey, sit. So he's already doing it, but he, he has given up. It's so less severe. Sit. Whoa. Whoa. Hold, hold, drop. Real quick, real easy. Just put it in his mouth. Him hold it. No. Sit. Hold, 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 drop. No. Now when he was doing that with his paw, I would take his, take my finger and go like that and go, no. Okay? You have to indicate to the dog not to do something. No. No. I'm not a chew toy. Hold. Hold, drop. No. Hold. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Hold. Good boy. Hold. Good boy. Drop. Good boy, that was good. We're not giving them an option. There is no option, it's hold it. We put it in the dog's mouth and make sure that they hold it. Build on success. If you can get the get the dog to hold it just for a second and, and he's not spitting it out. Remember, if they spit it out, you put it right back in. You say no hold. And you just keep doing this and the dog will start picking up on it. Remember, if you worry about what the dog likes or dislikes, that's that's not what you should be doing. We teach the dog what it should like and dislike and hold ends up being the most positive thing for the dog. You know, you can do retrieves, you can have the dog picking up objects. It's a great thing to teach your dog. Don't give the dog an option. You just have the dog sit, sit, and then you just start putting the object in the dog's mouth. Hold, drop, right? If your dog does that with its paw like that, tell it no. Take the foot and put it back down. All four on the floor, remember?